having a medal named in your honour isn't something that happens every day. Yeah, a huge privilege. I think uh, you know, very honoured, very chuffed uh, that the AOU have recognised me and uh, the Build Corp MNRC has uh, really come on. I think it's a fantastic tournament. It's a, it's a great way for players to develop uh, and come through and also uh, super rugby players to, uh, to play with the up-and-coming up players as well. So uh, absolutely flattered, absolutely honoured uh, to be recognised in this way by the AOU. Who will have it dangling from their neck tomorrow? Not an easy question to answer. <laughs> There's some good talent and, uh, and I think that's the exciting thing about the Bill Corp NRC is the talent that's coming through and uh, you know, guys like Jake Gordon playing uh, number nine for, for country and then more experienced players like Paddy Ryan um, you know, as well in the front row. So uh, look, it's, it's a very exciting grand final and uh, two very good teams. However, who filled tips to win? Well, a home game in uh, Tamworth, I, I'd say that they're uh, firm favourites. Tough to go from Perth over to Sydney, win a semi-final, go back and then come back again and then travel all the way, all the way to Tamworth. So, uh, look, I think the Eagles are probably favourites. With plenty being said recently about the state of club rugby in Australia, War believes the two can complement each other. Oh, look, I think club rugby is still very, very important and I think it plays an important part. Um, you know, we saw this year's grand final, North beating Sydney Uni in Sydney, uh, North Sydney Oval, and uh, sold out ground there. So it's just a matter of working together with the, the Bill Corp NRC. And, uh, you know, the NRC is a, a short tournament, uh, and, it, and it, you know, it's a national tournament, and it brings the best players out of club rugby together in, in what is like a, a representative tournament at the end of club rugby. So, uh, you know, I think there's room for both.